Do you know why these religious bodies observe land? What is land? Where is the origin of land? Is there any biblical backing land? What is the purpose of land? This and many questions we are asking today on the Great Commission Show. Follow me as Reverend Father Mark Achampong, educate as Lent is a period of preparation, it's a 40 days uh, preparation and what are we preparing ourselves for? What, what is, why are we preparing ourselves and what is actually causing that preparation? Because Lent precedes the, the, the Easter season and as we know, Easter is, is, is the, the highest form of celebration in the Catholic Church. And Easter is the, the highest form of all celebrations. And we celebrate uh, the, 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 the suffering, the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we Catholics, we see Easter as a season or a, a, a festival of liberation where Jesus liberated us from the slavery of sin. And this celebration or this festival, we see that it is expedient to prepare ourselves spiritually adequately for that celebration. Because if you take our traditional setup, every festival, before the festival is celebrated, there's a preparation. Okay. In, the, in the, the traditional setup, we take on that festival and all other festivals. They prepare before they celebrate okay. the festival. Father, you may as know that even amongst the traditional festival, we have preparations Preparation. before it comes. So, um, for instance, we know the origin of a Judean festival, a Bukum festival and those stuff. What is the origin of Lent? Lent, as I said, you see, uh, the origin of Lent, it takes its source from the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. The death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus himself came in the history of this world. That there once existed our Lord Jesus Christ who offered himself okay. as a living sacrifice for the entire humanity. Not only for Christians, but for the world. Okay. He offered himself as a sacrifice for the world, for the salvation of the world. So that is the source. And we celebrate this every year to commemorate that event by excellence. We celebrate that event. And before we celebrate it, that is why Lent 40 days, the church gives us 40 days to prepare. And a 40 days begins with the Ash Wednesday. Is there any biblical backing on this Lent? You will say that oh, maybe somebody may be watching us may say, where is Lent located in the in Bible? In the Bible, yeah. Is there any word called Lent in the Bible? Then if you if you if you hold that position, then you are wrong. Okay. <laughs> they are saying that Lent precedes the celebration of the suffering, death, okay. and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Jesus suffered on the cross. It's in the Bible that he suffered. And that is what we celebrate. And we see ourselves that before we celebrate that festival par excellence, the festival of all festivals, we prepare ourselves spiritually. Okay. We prepare. It, it, it requires adequate preparation. You can't just wake up one day and say, I'm celebrating the, the suffering and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. You need to prepare yourself. Okay. That's why I cited uh, our traditional setup. Okay. Festivals before they celebrate, they prepare, and in the same way, we too we prepare. Uh -huh. So that is what I would say. So if somebody says that, give me a word from the Bible that says that Lent. No, there's no word in the Bible say Lent. But the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus is in the Bible. Okay, so what are some of the things or activities one must follow before starting Lent? Now you see, uh, like I said earlier, yeah. Lent, uh, it is Ash Wednesday that opens 
the door of land. So, for instance, as when well as they begins the Lenten season, the 40 days journey, okay. as well as they begin it. And there are a lot of activities that So, so the church... before you continue, what does as Wednesday even mean in the first place? When you say as Wednesday, it's a, it's a, a day that ashes are distributed. Ashes are used on our foreheads. Okay. Just to tell you that you are a human person and from dust you came and you return to dust. Okay. And you see, the ashes are used. The previous year, the palm front that we use for Hosanna, mm -hmm. Passing Sunday, mm -hmm. the Passing Sunday that we, we, we normally say Palm Sunday, Palm mm -hmm. Sunday. Yeah. The Catholic Church is Passing Sunday. It can also be called Pass Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. Uh, each of them is it's okay. Right. But the the brand, the palm front that we used during that previous year. That we said Hosanna, we were singing Hosanna, we were happy because it, 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 it was a, a day marking the triumphant entry of our so, Lord so Jesus Christ. Father, into, what, why into, is it necessary for me, us to. A, 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 if you, I, want if to add, I, want, I want to add okay. this to it. Why is it necessary for us to observe as Wednesday before the Lent season? Not before the Lent season. Ash Wednesday is part of the Okay, Lentis. that means it's, it's the door it's, for it's, Lent it's, It just opens the door. Okay, the the okay. Lent season begins okay. with the Ash Wednesday. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. That's why the church recommends a lot of activities, spiritual activities for us. Like uh, the church says we must intensify our prayer life. We must also uh, give arms. We must also mortify the, the flesh. We do fasting. And, and and these are these are major three uh, spiritual activities that the church recommends for all of us. And, and you see, uh, when we talk of prayer, you intensify your prayer life. I mean, it is a time. You see, it's a time of preparation. So it's a time that you need to spend time with the Lord. You the need for meditation, contemplation. You pray. You go for mass. It's a time that you you go extra mile. Even in your prayer life, you, you, you make a resolution that this year, Lenten season, this is what I'm going to do. This is what the church recommends. And I'm giving to, you become generous. Okay. In, in not necessarily going, you don't need to own the whole world before you can be generous. No. Yeah. But the little you have, you share with the poor. They need those who are in need, you share with them. And, and fasting to, not necessarily, let me lay a little bit of emphasis on the fasting. Okay. The fasting, when we say fasting, all that people know is abstaining from food. Okay. But in our modern world, you don't need to abstain from food before you can fast. You can fast from so many things. In our modern world, if, if for instance, if I tell you that for 40 days, don't go to TikTok, fast from TikTok, don't open TikTok. Wow. And you see how challenging it will wow. be for wow. you. Wow. Wow. If I say that fast from TikTok, don't wow. go on TikTok. Okay, this is this is very. Don't go there. You this. you you tell yourself that for forty days I'm fasting from TikTok. I will not open TikTok. I will not go there. I will not follow whatever is happening there. And see forty days if you can you can do it. And you see how challenging because people wake up in the morning. Somebody who can be working and, and going about his business and twelve midday one the person is. Be, uh, maybe he hasn't even eaten. Okay, so, so so if if I can understand well, meaning fasting doesn't necessarily mean abstaining from, from food, food. No, but abstaining from what you mostly do or anything that gives you pleasure, pleasure or okay. in life. Okay. okay, you when you deny yourself from that, then you are fasting. Okay. But you see, in, in, in the Ghanaian social setting, we are only used to food, abstaining from food. So even in this Lenten season, if anybody comes to see you eating, the person might even chastise you, telling you that you don't know what is happening in the world. We are fasting and you are eating. No, <laughs> okay. you can fast from so many things. You can even fast from Facebook. Okay. You can fast from Facebook. Okay. You can tell you, you can fast from video games. A lot of the youth, they play okay. video games. Okay. You can say that, oh, for 40 days I will not play any video game. And see how challenging it will be for you. Okay, so Father, many will also ask, is it compulsory for us to observe 
as Wednesday, as a grand opening for Lent season, or it's not compulsory? No, no, if you say is, is it compulsory or not compulsory, I beg to differ because the, the, the whole thing is it's a season, it's a 40 day season, and the as Wednesday opens it. That means so, you can, so it, that means if you want to observe Lent, you can't do it as yeah. Wednesday. Not that you can't do it, it's part of it, okay. it's part of the Lenten season, okay. so not necessary as Wednesday. Is, is separated from the Lenten season. No, it is part of the Lenten season. So when we talk of Lenten season, as Wednesday, it's, it's, it's part of it. It opens the door for that 40 days journey. And as Wednesday is the first day. For 40 days, as Wednesday is the first day. So it opens the door for you. That's why the church gives you, the church marks you with that ashes used in the previous year, they we burnt it, then we mix it with water, we, mark, we, we smear it on your forehead, telling you that you must humble yourself, you are a human person. And you see, the same voices that were singing Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, the previous year, the same voice said, crucify him. Okay. So God is telling us, we human beings, sometimes we praise God, Sometimes too, we do the other way. We crucify the Lord. Because when you are crucifying your brother, you are crucifying the Lord. So the same person praising God, the same person doing different things. And you see, the ashes is reminding you that you are a human person. Humble yourself. Because from dust you came and you shall return to dust. Okay, so, so be Father, humble. Father, this one brought me to this question. You see, for instance, when you are going to Parliament, immediately you get to the gate, you have to do certain things. For instance, they have to verify you. Did you have appointment to come here? Who are you going to see? And a lot of stuff. So, as well as they being the gate to the land, what are some of the mandate we have to do before we started? The church has recommended activities for you. Okay. That is a season. So that you'll be conscious of the season. You see, we need to be conscious of the season. Okay. And, and it's a season of grace. It's a season of reconciliation. It's a season we make reparation of our sins. It's a season that we come face to face with God. It's a season that we... It's, it's, it's a silent season. Not a season we make noise. You see, these are some of the activities. So, so we we are mandated by the grace of God. God has given us this season, and it's a mandate God has given you okay. for you to observe the season piously. You see, you observe it. So you, you don't take the season for granted. That's why the season, the color changes. Okay. The color, the season itself it goes with this color. Yeah. The move. We call it violin. violin. So you see, from Ash Wednesday to uh, 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 the Easter season, you will be seeing this violin, violin, violin running through the liturgical activities. You will be seeing more often. We will be wearing this uh, violin, telling you that this is this. When you see us wearing this, it tells you that we are not in a joyful mood. We are in a, we are in, in a sorrowful mood. We, something, something is, is, is not that good. We are in a sorrowful mood. We, we, we are, we are mourning our sins. Okay, so Father, you, you talk more on the positive side. So, is there any negative side on Lent? No, it is only a, a challenge for the, the spiritual activities given to us. Maybe it will be difficult for some people. Some people may have health issues. So, even if you say that. We, we, we should, they should fast. You see, it becomes a challenge for them. Some also, you see, it calls for attitudinal change. And, and it's difficult for you to change your attitude. Especially attitude towards work. For instance, if, if in the Lenten season, if you are supposed to report to work at 8 o'clock, and you, you make it a point that Lenten season, 8 o'clock will be there. It will be a challenge for you. Okay. Uh -huh. God is telling you to do something that perhaps you might think that 
is beyond your strength. Uh, because it's a season of grace, it's a season of preparation. So preparing yourself, let's say you make it a point, a resolution that lengthy season, I'll go for morning mass every day. Okay. And one day you may wake up and you feel so tired. Yeah. But you said, promise to promise to go. Okay, so Father, a word or two to advise the religious bodies who are embarking on this length. So I would say that, uh, I mean, we, we should be grateful to God for this particular season that the church gives us every year to prepare ourselves. It's a season that we come to our consciousness about our relationship with God and our relationship with the other person. Okay. And, 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 and it's an opportunity God gives us to, to, to seek for reconciliation. So if, if you are not living good, or if your relationship with God, your personal relationship with God is, is not that pleasant, this is the opportunity to make amendments. If your relationship with the other person is also not good, this is the opportunity to patch up your differences. You iron your differences. So you see, if what I'm telling everybody is that just be part of this season. Active participation is needed in this season. Be part and you will be blessed. Okay, so in 30 seconds or 15 seconds, who is Reverend Father Mark Echampo? Reverend Father Mark Echampo is a Catholic priest of the I Diocese, Catholic I Diocese of Kumasi. And, and I work at uh, St. Joseph Catholic Church, Tapamaku, and also the vocation director in the Catholic I Diocese of Kumasi. Thanks for watching the Great Commission with Reverend Father Mark Echampo. This is Yarek TV. Please, if you enjoy this content, make sure you share it with your family and friends. Let's all enjoy it.